There we go. Continue. Continue slot two. Continue slot one. Whatever. Ow. What were we doing? Oh yeah, Monica died. Oh no, Doom, etc. Uh, that's a lot of levels left, I've just realized. I thought there was only like four left, but apparently not. I'm disappointed, game. You tease me. We're gonna keep doing the same thing I've been doing, where I basically just skip 90% of the enemies. Because, again, quite frankly, it makes it easier. Although this is a new area. Ooh, there's the Justin. My controller's still stupid, what else is new? You do need Monica though, because you can't actually... You can go to the future with Max, but you cannot come back without Monica. Which makes her kind of important. Is there anything down here? There is. Do either of you have the key? Nope. Having Pal speeds this thing up quite a bit. And I may as well grab chests along the way. Because they give me magic crystals. And I can test... Yep, if you have the magic crystal, it shows who has the key. Cool man. And I just got 2,000 Gilda for no reason. So now I know where the dude with the key is, so I can run straight to him, murder his family, back to the future, guess, and then steal his key, because this game is all about murdering people's families and stealing their keys. Hmm. I wonder if you could fish in the lava. Excuse me, bat. I mean, that doesn't sound logical at all, but technically it is a liquid. So could you not... You know, fish in it? Are there lava fish? Do lava fish exist? I don't know. Excuse me. Also, floating mask that has a funny face. You'll see a lot of those. Hello. You're gonna die. Actually, Steve is almost dead, I've realized. Oh, well. I'll have to repair him somewhat soon, I suppose. There's the key. We got a new key type, apparently. Fancy. And now we have the map, which is completely useless because we already have the map. Uh... Hello, Hitomi. People everywhere. Who are these people? I don't know. Vintic and his friends that speak languages I don't understand. <laughs> Foreign people that I don't understand. Make makes no sense. Of course he makes no sense, he's speaking Finnish. Which quite clearly makes no sense. There's the exit. Which apparently is just a pit. I <laughs> Web chat sucks. Web chat does not suck, it's just fairly bland. It is a freaking web chat, an IRC web chat nonetheless. What did you expect from it? It's not like IRC is terribly complicated to begin with. I have, uh. There's no key here, is there? Nope. Bollocks to this. And off this way we go. I really wish we started with the freaking magic crystal, but whatever. What was I saying? I use, uh, MIRC. Or whatever it's called, Merc. For the chat. That dude has the key. Whoops, a daisy. Oh, and it's one of these. These guys are still irritating, by the way, from like seven decades ago. Last time we fought these. Doo -doo -doo. Ah, there we go. I'm also still horridly overpowered, apparently, despite the fact I've not killed anything for, like, 20 floors. Where's the key? There's the exit, if the, or sorry, the geostones. The geostones over here, that is, like, the luckiest floor I've ever had. But it's probably not gonna be, because the game hates me, and it's based on the troll engine that Isaac uses. Yep, troll engine. I'm actually curious, uh, does anyone know what engine the Binding of Isaac remake is going to use? Have they said? I, th I, th I think they've said it, but I don't know, maybe I'm just not paying attention? I don't know. There's a dude following me. I don't really care. Be 
becoming a corpse is apparently a superpower. There's a geo... Excuse me, a geostone. Huggles! Tom... Oh, Jesus, I keep burping. Thomas is alive, apparently. And that's a mimic. Bollocks to you. What about you? You're not. Except you have paint. Of all the things you could have. I can't remember what chapters after or what yeah what chapters after this I think because this is basically as far as my memory goes I remember this and then maybe it's the house of cards type area thing maybe this is the last actual georama we have to do I can't remember how be the fish use I don't think we've actually done anything with the fish in quite some times because we're on a volcano Fish don't like volcanoes, apparently. The chapter after this is the one before two chapters from now. Oh, really? There's a white seal. Hmm. I really should go and buy some uh, seal breaky doohicker items, but I'm lazy. I know what a white seal is, game. Thank you. You can't heal. Oh, dear. Vol volcano roasted. Dirtfish. Hmm. I don't know if vol really volcano roasted fish is going to be very tasty. Is anything back here? Nope. There's dragons though. Because honestly, if you're if you're in a volcano and you kind of you know you stick a fish in here, it's probably just going to burn. For whatever reason, Max hasn't burst into flames, but whatever. What are you? Uh -huh. Thought it was like a giant floating eyeball for some reason. And there's a locked room, which inevitably is going to house the key. Hello? It doesn't house the key. Fast. Because really, if it, like I said, if you if you have a fish and you throw it in some lava, it's probably not going to do terribly well, given the massive temperature. You have the key. You need to die. That's not it. I can't hit a bat. I just realized that bat has like 400 health. Because I just did 300 damage to it. Hello. It's kind of ridiculous for a bat to have that much health. I'm gonna, like, die if I have to actually fight enemies without Steve. Because I only, I only do, what, 100 damage at most? And that thing has, like, 800? Good god, man. Need some more full. Need some more what? Excuse me. Fuel. Huh. I have not actually gotten fuel the entirety of the game. I have never picked up a single thing of fuel because they're all in rocks and I never pick up rocks. Seems odd that they'd even be in rocks considering it's a freaking rock. Why is there fuel in it? Not just fuel either, it's a fuel canister. Makes no sense. I think you can buy fuel. I haven't actually seemed to unlock that yet, so it's probably someone I'm missing that I haven't recruited yet. It was a floor with a a white seal on it, and the metal was to finish without healing. I can't even heal if I wanted to, game. And this is full of mimics. So they basically just gave me a free metal. Whatever. There's the exit. Does the exit have the key? Nope. Given the name of this floor, I expect all of these chests are going to be mimics, which this might be a good test to see if it'll tell you if a mimic has the key. Because so far, all I've seen is chests, which leads me to believe that all I'm going to see is chests. Where's the diamonds and redstone? Everything here is stone that is red. Also, I'm not... Entirely sure why Minecraft decided that diamonds are in volcanoes, but whatever. Oh, you have the key. I have a bat on me. Do you hurt? Probably. My controller's broken. There we go. What's going on with my controller here? Hold on. I 
Hmm. We got it now? I think we got it now. For whatever reason, it was... Oop, it wasn't blocking properly. Like, I'd hold the button down and it didn't actually block. You look like you're gonna hurt. Jerking controller tricks. My controller's pretty much garbage, I'm well aware of that. Okay, so that does a metric crap ton of damage. I do need to get a new controller. Because the, the left joystick's broken, the this button is kind of finicky. It's, it's very sensitive. See? Look at that crap. Sensitive. I don't think I got the Geostone yet, did I? No. Sadly, Microsoft controllers are kind of expensive. I could probably find just a regular USB controller somewhere for like 10 bucks probably, but I don't know how f how good those are going to be. This controller is like 10 years old. Actually, it's not that old. How old are the consoles? How old is the console? Where's the stupid Geostone? Because this is, this is whenever the Xbox released is when this controller was purchased. Geostone is going to be in the far corner, isn't it? Were they released in 05 or 06? There's the Geostone. Excuse me, Alexander? Some, sometime around then. I don't know. Whatever. How does one put... That doesn't even make sense. And seriously, why has Max not burst into flames? He's been in a volcano for like 12 days, running around literally next to lava, wearing his standard clothes. I don't understand. This game, it makes no sense. You have no logic. So we'll do this floor, and then we'll head back to the Georama, see what we got, and see what's what. Repair Steve, and then we'll go to the last floor, which... I actually don't remember what's on the last floor. Released 2005, so there you go. There's that. Well, that's gonna make this floor easy. Who has the key? That's a lot of enemies, and I see no keys. So none of these guys have a key. Who does have the key, then? Oh, I see him. He's over there. I found him. Yeah, but those people aren't running around inside of a volcano to make their food. They're sitting on top of the on volcano using, like, the steam vents and crap to cook their food, or just the warm rock around the volcano. Because if you, if you, like, dig a little hole and throw some food in that hole on a volcano, it'll actually cook quite well. Woo, camera. But being inside of a volcano, man, seriously, it's it's toasty. Oh, the geostone's behind the stupid thing. So I have to find the... Whatever the special key for these floors is, so I can get across the lava over there. White wind vase. I'm gonna assume that's the special key, because that looks like a unique item to me, so we'll head this way. Excuse me, ultrasonic bomb? That sounds horrible. And seriously, there's like 8 million enemies on this floor. Good place to get some experience. Since most of them appear to be... What the heck is... Oh, this is your Healy thing. Never mind. Most of them appear to be easily killable by Steve, since they're all big enemies. They also appear to be probably easily killing me. I'm gonna have to use Steve. Yep. Come here, Steve. Your gun's broke. Oop. Fishy frenzy's going on. Let's turn the time down so we don't blow all of our time. Because we're going to be doing some fishy frenzy. There's my prepare crap. There it is. Fishy frenzy is the best. How do you guard a laser made of sunlight? I don't understand. S serious. Whoop. I killed Steve. Sorry, Steve. Didn't mean to. Oh, I was like, where's Monica at? I actually completely forgot she's dead. She's not actually dead. But whatever. There we go. So is this the special key we need? Steve has died. Yep. 
That is some strong wind to instantly cool lava, but let's not ask questions. She'd be dead if I'd. Even being this close to lava should set him on fire. I mean, he's he's just wearing standard, probably woolen clothes. Oop. Thank you for missing. Which I'm pretty sure are highly flammable. It's not like he's wearing, you know, stuff that's not highly flammable. I don't actually know what lava people wear. What do lava people wear? What are lava people? Is that even a statement that could be made? I don't know. I don't know how hot lava is. It technically depends on how deep it is as to how hot it is, but, you know. Don't mind me. I didn't want to take a picture. Thank you for the offer game. There's not gonna get as hot as the lava, this is true, but it does it does dissipate some heat. Alright, let's exit. Let's see what we got. Actually, let me see how fast that timer for Finny Frenzy is going down. Before we screw around here. Three hours it took. Shouldn't be too bad. Since I'm pretty sure it pauses time when I'm sitting in here. At least I could be mistaken, but... Gerald resides in... Cedric resides. Eric and House near. They're all next to the windmill, so that's pretty much irrelevant. At least I think they're close enough to be next to the windmill. Yep. So let's see. We need Cedric and Gerald. I believe I have an empty house, right? Yes. So we'll see if Cedric wants to live here. He does. That was easy. And who's the other one? Gerald. Right. Mrs. Hides. I believe I can build regular houses now. Because we got rid of the thing causing the fire. So let's build something super cheap for him. Super cheap and easy to build. How about a wooden house? Let's hope it doesn't burst into flames, shall we? You can be right there. Apparently there's been a change. What have I done? You prefer, prefer a more respectable place to live in. What in the heck does that mean? Does he just need a better house? What would a better house be? He doesn't want to live in a church, that's silly. Maybe he just wants a brick house? I don't have enough street rocks. Curse you, game. Curse you. What's up, Craig? Again. I know there's been a change. Shush. Oops. Ooh, you have a good point, actually. Put him in the brick house and then move Cedric. I assume Cedric doesn't much care what he lives in. Apparently I already had a wooden house, for some reason. Whatever. Stop telling me about the future, I don't care. Turn the train. Now, will Gerald live here? Yes. Good thinking. Who said that? Decapafish said that. And then Cedric. Cedric don't care. Cool. Everything's just golden. Alright, so what do we need? We need nothing. A oh, hundred culture points, really? So we need a hundred culture points and to kill the boss. Well, can I put a weather vane on someone? I can put it on here. Can I put two weather vanes on here? Does that give you both double culture points? I'm just making it look fun enough. Let's put some trees down. What are we at? 88. Hmm. I can't build anything. Build a well. Yeah, that's <laughs> not a lot of options on my building capabilities. What do we at? I think that gives you culture, yes. We need four more, are you kidding me? What if I just put another well? So I can't really build anything else. Can I build... no. Well, I can't even build a well now. Mailbox? Nope. Cart? Nope. 
Barn? I can build a barn. Maybe we can slap some of this on this wooden house over there and give us enough points. It should, I think. That's a big barn. Hey, we got it. So now we just need to beat the boss. Before we do that, though, and before I go back to the future, we want to go do a fishing contest. For what that's worth. Even though all of my fish are pretty much garbage in comparison to what... Where am I going? This way. And compared to what's basically required to beat this fishing contest, eh, we can probably finish off the... Uh, the easiest difficulty or whatever. The lowest tier? I don't know what I'm going for here. The easiest tournament? It is a race, yes. Fishy, finny Frenzy is a race. Thomas is apparently still the cleanup fish. Look at it, all of its glory. Who do I talk to? I talk to you. Don't get carried away. No, you. Who is the leader of this establishment? There he is. Ooh. That's true, we should look up who has the best stamina. We should also throw people back in there before... Actually, I think everyone who's named is already in there. Yeah, so let's see who has, who has some good stats here. Craig's got some sweet stamina, but everything else is pretty much garbage. We why did why can't we make like Craig's stamina with Akasha Dirtfish here? Cause she's got good other she's got good stats otherwise, except for endurance. I don't remember what that does. She has crappy stamina. Hmm. Is stamina a better idea? I don't know. I do want to join in. Yes. Choose my fish. Oh, it tells you the stats anyway. Oh well, good lord. Meet you and Akasha. I don't know how the meeting in the fish thing works. Oh, where's Thomas's fish? I think Thomas is actually the one who got fed to... Uh, what's his face? He got turned into the electrical fish. Let's try Craig and see what he can do. Choose your fish's class. We need to do beginner. Choose your pre-race preparation tank. Uh, you have a lot of stamina, so I think that might be a good idea, although that's probably going to backfire. When a mommy fish and a daddy fish have baby fishes, the baby fish eat the mommy and daddy fish, and then they're gone. It's a fish race, and we're off. You're a really small fish, I've just realized, Craig. I'm talking like embarrassingly small compared to what's in this tank. You're also losing. Come on, Craig, that derpy fish is freaking out there. You're in fifth, you're not going to win. But quite clearly need better fish. Yeah, you're not going to win. You're not in last, actually. You're, you're in fifth. For what that's worth, but... It's not, not going so well. The fins have more surface area. This is true, although some of them appear to be tiring out. So your your little endurance battle is actually working. You're just a bit too slow. So you got fourth place. It's not too bad, I suppose. I will try again. Thank you, sir. You can try as many times as you want, I think, until the time runs out. He wanted me to check the other tanks, so we may as well do that. May as well feed people as well. Uh, is anyone in here? Are we still fighting? There's still fish in here. What? What are you two doing? Cease. You have some good stats. Maybe from fighting? I don't know. I don't know how that works. This is the first race we've had, so yeah, fourth out of six isn't too bad. Back to the wreck tank, and let's feed everybody, shall we? I can't remember which of these increase which stat, sadly, so I'm just going to feed everyone another fish. 
because we're evil and we eat fish for lunch and stuff. I'll just feed random stuff, how about that? Let's see, I think that's everybody, so let's just drop something in there just for the sake of it. Nope! Now it's everybody. So feeding them increases their stats. I don't know what each thing does, though. Ansu's actually pretty good. Oh, Thomas is pretty good, too. Some crappy stamina, but you know. You're also almost dead. But you know. Hmm. Yeah, let's see if we can we can do some breeding here. We'll take Craig, throw him in the breeding tank. I need to feed him again, so never mind. Never mind. Let's see how our how our other people do. I do want to join in, yes. We'll try We'll try Thomas, see how he does. We're gonna do beginner because everything else will just maul us, and we're gonna do keep a steady pace because your stamina sucks. And see how you do, given your more than double the rest of uh, Craig's stats, you just have less stamina. Not a bad start. In fact, that's a pretty good start. The question is, can you keep this up? Longer than other fish. Man, you are derpy looking. You're in second. I can't, I don't actually know. Which one's you? Now you're in third. Did you already lose some stamina? Come on, man. No, now you're back in second. Oh, there you are. You're like the little hammerhead shark there. Tiny hammerhead shark. As horrible as that sounds. Second place? Can you pull in first? Probably not. Actually, you're catching up. Mm, nope. Barely. You sure got to take out the competition. I don't think that's fair. You lost by like a quarter of a second, probably. Sad panda. Why's this screen flickering? Let's just be a... Oh, that's a thing, apparently. It just must be a bulletin board or some... Or a emulator glitch. Um... No, not right now. How often can we feed the fish? Whoops. You said there were rules. Oh, we can feed them pretty often, apparently. Someone uh, in the chat mind googling what each of these fish does? Like, what stat they increase? Actually, hold on, let me... Let's look at ants up here. Oh, I can't remember that. 16, 15, 12, 8, 9. Sixteen, fifteen, twelve, eight, ten. That's increasing tenacity. What does tenacity even do? So what? What is? Let's see. Five twenty-seven, five nine. That's increasing endurance. Hmm. Hmm. You can feed every two to three hours in game time. Okay. Well, we really want endurance and stamina for the racing, I think. Although well, boost is probably good. Well, we can breed now. Let's breed, shall we? Let's breed Craig, since he has a bajillion stamina, with... Ansem's male. <laughs> Kasha! <laughs> It's the only options we have, really. The breeding tank. Thank you, Roldek. Much appreciated. Useful, as always. That's a really weird mating session you've got going there. Really weird, just want to say. A nonke! What do you have, nonke? Those are some good stats, actually. So we'll take you, drop you back in the wreck tank, and then name you in a second. Carrot changes gender, yeah, I realize that. Which I should feed to one of the people with good endurance and stuff. Like Thomas. 
We're gonna have a, we're gonna change you to female there, Thomas, if you don't mind. You don't really have a choice to deal with it. All right, so let's name the donkey. Who gets to be the donkey? Um, crazy wants one. Where's where's where'd crazy go? Crazy's way up there. Crazy, I can't see your name. There it is. Uh, and Foxer needs one as well, actually. Foxer can be the next group that we breed. Crazy Nilly. Because we are going to breed one more. I think we have one more female in the tank at the moment. At least... Yeah, that's male. Oh, we got two females left in the tank. Ooh! We can get diggy in that. Both of them are kind of crappy, though. Decapa and Taco, you are the worst females I've ever seen. We'll send Taco in there, who's got decent endurance. And... Ansib? Uh... Ansib. Let's see what they can come up with here. It's because they never feed you. This is true, I never feed anybody, technically. I fed everyone in the tank equally, as far as I'm aware. Seriously, interesting, interesting mating session. They have a fish. A den was born. That's a cool looking fish. Come here. I'm trying to look at your fish. Hold still. I can't really see really what you are. Kinda weird looking. So what do you have? Ooh! You're quite good, Din. Move you to the wreck tank. Go back to the wreck tank. This one can be Foxer. Whoops, I realized that was a named game. I'm gonna name this one. I wish I could type this out on, like, the keyboard, but alas. This is Emulator. So this is Foxer. You are a Din. Excuse me. Um... And we have two more group, or one more group that we can do. Which is Decaf a Fish, who has decent stamina. With... Thomas, he's the only one left, so have at it. It's too young, never mind. I gotta take you out of the breeding tank, good lord. Do you look like might? I don't know, Foxer, hold on. Move to wreck tank because no one wants to breed with you. Where'd Foxer go? There's Foxer. Foxer's zooming around, look at him go. Not sure what he's doing, but he's zooming. He's also kind of flat. Anyway, so Foxer and Crazy Crazy Nilly's actually pretty good. I think Foxer's gonna be a better choice for this though. So Foxer plus Crazy Nilly would equal a pretty good fish, I think. In theory, I have to feed them all. In fact, I should feed them all now, actually. I need to. Hold on one second. So I'm gonna scroll the chat back up so I can actually see what's going on. So. Raises stamina and decreases the fish's weight. So we're gonna feed everyone real quick, and then I'm gonna scroll the chat back down so I can see. I didn't actually mean to feed that one, but whatever. I wanted, uh, Minons. Which you spelled Minions, which is great. There we go. Alright, let's scroll the chat back down so I can see what's going on. I spelled your name wrong. What did I do? Oh, I put one L. Oh, well, you'll survive. Give you a carrot. No! I gotta scratch my ear. Apologies for the sound that may or may not have made. Okay, join. No, join. You fool. There you go. Also, I need to scratch my ear again. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So I'm pretty sure Foxer is going to be a better suit for this, despite the fact that you have 12 less stamina and a bit less tenacity, but whatever. Keep a steady pace, because you don't have stamina. Go for it!
We got a puffer fish over here. Freaking foxer's tiny. Good lord. Why are you so tiny, foxer? Why are you doing so poorly, foxer? Actually, not. There you go. There you go. Second place. Doing well. <laughs> that face the puffer fish is making. Now you're back in third. Hmm. It's these corners. These corners are killing our fish. Maybe we need to hire cornering. Do fish have a cornering skill? Oop, oop, oop. We got a first. We got a first. Is he going to hold it? Nope. <laughs> Can he get it back? How do you swim like that? That doesn't make any sense. You're still close. Kind of. Now we're going to pull second again. Hmm. 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 Poo. Well, back to feeding. Can we feed yet? Yep, we can feed. And... I want... Oh, now I've forgotten what I want. Curses. Curses, curses, curses. Now I gotta scroll the chat back up. Subject the fish to radiation. I don't think that's how that works. Um, teat fish is endurance, so that's what I want. And... So we'll just start throwing petite fish in here like nobody's business. We'll go we'll go all out all out crazy stamina for a while. I wonder if just curious. If I just do close out, do a race, and then go back, can I feed them? Let's do a quick test if I can just close that out and then feed them again, I don't know. I seriously doubt it, but No. Now we're going to wait for it to float all the way down as everyone stares at it. Alright. So I guess doing a race is basically enough time to feed the fish again. That's fine. We can do that. Uh. Oh. No. Oh. It said there was still 40 hours left. I'm sad. Well, no more Finny Frenzy for the day. Apparently, the game has deemed it so. Play like you could do it as many times as you want. I guess there is a limit. What time is it? It's 8.45. Now it's 8.47. So basically, one second equals a minute, give or take. Somewhere around there, so my controller breaks. Alright, well, we may as well... Uh, how much gilda do I have? A lot. Hmm. Let's move back to the volcano. Just time Rana, not enter the dungeon, because I want to uh, check with Cedric and repair Steve. And go to the future. May as well go to the future now, since I'm standing next to the thing. Oh, wait. Uh, I've just realized I've gone to the future without Monica. What's that? How do I get back? There's something there. I'll check it out. Seriously though, how how do I get back without the the blue at limit? Uh, I just what? Don't run places and then teleport back, man. It's creepy. So we're gonna do a quick scan around the area again. I'm probably gonna miss things. I'm well aware. There's the stores. So the stores are here now, at least. I may as well check the stores. Can't hurt, I suppose. Uh, okay. In we go. Is it actually, can I get like a picture of something? Uh, are there any pictures left in the game? Yes, there's like 700. I'm missing nearly all of them. Ooh, that looks cool. Can I take a picture of that? Make something. Decorative lights. Book. That's not what I really meant, but. G Tools is apparently the name of this place. My camera's full. Why is my camera full? What have we been taking pictures of? Apparently, a lot of things. Would be that moaning girl. The moaning girl is from the chapter we've already completed. G Tools. Is that all I can get in here? Is just that light. 
Well, what do you sell, woman? Or guy, or whatever? You gotta use items, too. Blah. So we can buy cheese here, which I'm going to do, because freaking cheese. We've yet to really ever use water, so that's essentially pointless. And let's sell these gold bars we picked up, because they're expensive. We have a lot of varieties of paint, I've realized. Why did he tell me about finding weaknesses if he just sells me cheese and repair powder? That doesn't make any sense. I haven't actually seen any more chests either, which is interesting. Considering we completed like 40-50% more of the actual Georama and we hadn't got any chests down here. Maybe they're all on the second floor, I don't know. Or maybe they're all somewhere where I haven't looked. Hello. This is G-Weapons, show window. I like how we were in G-Tools, now we're in G-Weapons. Excuse me, I keep burping. Apparently all this is show windows. What is this? Is this a recipe? It is. Geyser barrel energy pipe. Um, I've just realized... I like how it just says future for the day and the time. Is it possible to get a picture of a geyser now that I've covered them all up with dirt? Hmm. Cubic hammer, don't want... Question shooter, don't want. Platinum Brassard. It's actually better than the one Monica currently has, but I still do not want. Any stuff I can take a picture of? No. Well, this is a boring place. There's no pictures. Terrible area. What is up with the floor? Oh, that's like a rug or something. I was like, Jesus, man, what'd you do? Who puts lights on the floor? That seems a little weird. I'm not talking like one light either, that was literally the entire floor was lights. It was crazy. Feed the fish. Does time pass when I'm here? Because it doesn't have a clock. I suppose it would make sense for it to pass, but whatever. It does. Gotta make sure our dirt fishers are properly nutritionized. Nutritionized? That's not a word. Go. And up we go, to the second floor. Actually, let's check the third floor first. Although I think this is where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, there's another shop here. Can I get a picture of you? No, what about you? No. That's where I'm supposed to be going. That's not a shop, you do this. But there is stuff up here, in the form of tiny little treasure chests. So we should grab that. And I'm gonna assume there's more all the way up to the end there, because the game hates me. It's only inevitable. There's one right there. It's a good sign. I don't see any down there, though, unless it's wrapped around the corner for me to not see without walking all the way down. Hello, Akasha. Your fish didn't die in battle. You had sweet love with Craig again. Seems to be a recurring pattern. Akasha plus Craig. Whoa, my throat. Man, just saying that caused my throat to, like, implode upon itself. Is there anything down here? Nope. Where are you hiding all of your chests, game? Where? Apparently not here. There's gotta be more than that. Come on, game. Come on. Oh, there's one right there. They're so hard to see, man. Why couldn't they make them, like, bright yellow? Seriously. Um... Off we go down to the second floor. Because we need to be on the, f the third floor, not the second floor. And this is probably the last time I'll check this area until we get 100%, which is going to be a cutscene regardless. Oh, there's another store. Is there another store? No, but there's 8 million buildings, which I'll inevitably have to run around for. Excel. Excel is an excellent program because it excels at excelling. There's this dude. He 
Yeah. Cool. Cool beans. Gotta make sure you get all your bases covered when you're taking pictures. You gotta get the hairy chest, you gotta get the facial hair, you gotta get it all. Uh, what are those? Electric sesame. What? Okay. Apparently that box is decorative lights. Whatever. Display robo, more boxes, a drum can. I don't think I had, actually. What is this? Wrenches. Look at those beautiful wrenches. They're all identical. Okay. Refrigerator body, machine gun arm, propeller leg. We're going to buy that, although I could make it, but whatever. And ride pod fuel, finally, for 2,000 experience. Uh, nope. It's not worth that much experience. Light the shop on fire? Seriously, you people are insane. And Akasha's gone and back in... Gone in? Gone back into lurking mode. Can I take a picture of these? No. Of course not, that would be too convenient. Oh, there's freaking... Seriously, man, why'd you make them brown and put them next to brown pillars? Good God. There's probably one more down this side, unless I've already gotten it. Seems to be the pattern. There's one on each side at the moment. Although... Oh, are you kidding me? There's actually two down here. One at the very end, which means I've inevitably missed... Inevitably? and ine Indubitably. Indubiously. I don't know. Missed one on one of the other levels, but whatever. Jump down a floor in a red pod? Nope. Steve's dead. Did you forget about that? So much running, so little progress. Alright, let's use all this crap. I believe I can still use stuff on Monica, despite the fact that she's not here. No, I can't. Never mind. Ignore that. Uh, I'm gonna save that, because I need... I believe Monica needs some health, so... When we, whenever we get her back. You would like to run forward in a general direction. Thank you. Feed some fish, this is true. Thank you all for reminding me every quarter of a second. I wish I could feed a specific fish. Instead of just dropping it in there and feeding them all the same thing. Blanket feeding. Blanket feeding, that's what it's called. What are our stats looking like? Pretty much the same. Foxy's not looking too bad there. Need more tenacity and more stamina. Um, this is true, decap a fish, but since I'm going to breed them anyway, I, I guess I'll just feed them all. All the time. All of the feeding. We need to go back to the third floor now. Thankfully, the building I need to go to is directly next to the elevator on the third floor. Actually, does putting stuff in the battle tank give them better stats? Like, if I just leave them in there for a couple decades, are they going to get better stats? Is that how that works? I don't know. Either way, we need to go in here. May as well take a picture of that, just in case. They do die in there. We've killed someone in the battle tank before. Hello. Who are you? My name's Max. I'm Maximilian. Nice to meet you. Maximilian? Could you possibly be Elena's? Yes. Do you know my mother? I am. So you are, then. You have your mother's eyes. Thank you, sir. You're That's a bit nice awkward. To hear. <laughs> a bit nice. I'm Gail Garris. Hello. I've been leading the battles against Griffin, but it looks like my own origin point has been erased somehow. How's Monica? She's dead. She was aboard Gaspard's battleship and fell into the Mount Gunder volcano. She died. I'm heading out to save her. Right after we get some cheese. Is that right? Then take this with you. Is it cheese? What's that? I got a fire horn. I hope it spits out cheese. Because we need some cheese. Gondor is a dangerous place with a flowing river of lava. Thank you. The going gets very rough. Use that when flames block your path. 
the same flames will become your servants. I don't even think I'd want to walk across rock that's been underneath lava for years. You should be able to make your way across the lava. That's the legendary instrument, Firehorn. Do I need, like, a training session to play the Firehorn, or can I just blow into it and hope it works? It's one of my land's greatest treasures. It will come in handy. You're entrusting your land's greatest treasure... Excuse me. ...to a child who's going to wander into a volcano and fight someone. Gaspard killed my friend, Raybrand. Hmm. Raybrand was a noble king and the mightiest of knights. Raybrand is the dude from the very beginning, by the way. That's Monica's father. But Gaspard defeated him. You mustn't underestimate him. I have a laser gun. Monica's father. Thank you, Max. I established that. I have a laser gun. I think we can handle him. I'm gonna make Gaspard pay. Don't worry. I have a laser gun. I know you can do it. The Atlamia chose you. Good luck. If you know I can do it, why are you telling me good luck? This seems redundant. Let's get some pictures of some random whirly bird things around here. That's, seriously, why is everything in this place called? That doesn't even remotely look like ventilation. I'm just saying. Computer, chair. I thought that would be a bit fancier than just a chair, but whatever. Is that it? Thought there'd be a bit more to this room, but I guess not. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Now we need to run all the way back down to the teleporty thing and somehow get back to the future. How we're going to do that without an Atlamilia is interesting. Considering, again, the game itself has stated that it's the Atlamilia is required to do that. Atlamilia. Otherwise, it is a ruby that's hanging around his neck. Uh, front. Like, is it just going to suddenly change that for this time? Or what's... We're getting a cutscene. Just at that moment, my Atlamelia shone blue. See? Magic. The blue light that reached to the past. Was Monica's Atlamelia lending mine its power? Can they do that? How do they communicate? Hmm. That would have been a, a sweet feature to have, like, decades ago, but sure, whatever. Magic. Don't question it. Alright, let's go get Steve repaired, shall we? Which I believe he was in this wood house, or he is in this wood house. Hello. Uh, enter. Cedric, come here. Apparently, I guess he's still gonna handle the train, I guess? Sure, whatever. Uh, I don't think I can afford any th upgrades for him. Yeah, the next core is pretty expensive. There's the wooden box body. And that's basically what I'm saving for. I could buy a bunch more shield kits. Every time you buy a shield kit, you have to leave uh, the shop, put it on, and then come back to the shop to buy the next one. Excuse me. Yeah, no, someone needed to fix a plot hole. Uh, what I really want is this super core, though. I believe that's actually the last core, which will allow you to put any part you want on it, basically, without any issues. Um, and just for the sake of showing it off, I'm not going to use it, but for the sake of showing it off, here are the propeller legs. It's the propeller, who would have thought. They're a bit weird to control. Also, I've turned off his voice, you may have noticed. You have to go to the core. Where's the core at? And you'll have an option for voice on or off. Which I turned it off, because he's irritating. Uh... They're kind of hard to control, but they float around quite nicely, so... I guess it's, they're, they're relatively quick, but they're floaty. Because it's, it's a floating device. They're floaty. Who would have thought? Apparently I'm supposed to feed the fish again. Sweet Jesus, y'all. I think this is the fourth, fourth time, actually, so then we would need to go back to breeding the fish. And then feeding them again, and then breeding them again, because breeding them seems to be a much better way of increasing stats overall. Because feeding them increases one, breeding them seems to increase quite a few stats. 
At least assuming you breed the proper ones. Uh, why can't I fit through that gap? By the way, let's save, just because I haven't done it in forever, and if the emulator crashes, I'm going to be a very sad panda. Fatty sad panda. But for now, let's go to the boss, I assume is the boss, anyway. Oh, come on, you had to start me... No, I can't... No, over there, there we go. <laughs> Mount Gundor Mouth. Hmm. Cleverly named Dungeon Floor, I suppose. There it is, we need to use the Doohicker. Should be at the very bottom, there it is. Apparently you didn't need any practice, it just works. The parting of the seas, hmm. It's parting. That's what he told you it would do, you idiot. Literally, he even made a picture in the air. I swear. And again, hot. This 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 stone right here is hot. Whatever. But anyway, there's the ship you may have noticed. Uh, my freaking pictures are full again. Good lord, I'm taking a lot of pictures. Delete all. I just want to see if we can even take a picture. We can. Interesting. There's nothing else in here, then. Good, good, good. Monica, we've come for you. Literally, in multiple meanings. Right on schedule, I see. I was on a schedule? I was unaware. Monica, worry about your own hide, boy. Your little journey's about to come to a screeching halt. You have a cool sword. Just gonna say. We've killed you like seven times. Or defeated you, I should say. Seriously. We've, seriously, we've beaten the crap out of you a lot of times, and my controller's freaking out again. Ow. 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 So I can stun him, but it takes quite a few hits to do so, so I should probably not get quite so greedy. I have a lot of cheese, though, which thereby makes it basically irrelevant. I could just sit here and shoot him with a laser. Oh, or not. I'm sorry, Gaspard. I didn't mean it. Can I stun lock him, actually? I'm curious. Uh, please don't murder me. Thank you. Seriously, I just said please don't murder me. I can stun lock him, really? Whoop. Again, not a terribly difficult fight. Especially when he just does this over and over again. You're making it a bit easy for me, Gaspard. Shoot him in the eyeballs. Shoot him in the crotch. Crotch shot Akasha, where you at? We need some crotch shooting. Once again. Why do you refuse to give up, boy? Because I have a laser pistol. I won't forgive what you've done. And because I have a laser you pistol. You won't forgive what I've done. What has he done? But why? Oh, it would have been better if he asked what he has done. You're chasing after my mother. You'll hurt her if I don't stop you. My Miami. Your mother. You fight to protect your mother. How dare you? Ha! How juvenile. Not right, close enough. But you know, I used to be that way too. No, don't give us a speech, dude. Just die. Huh? No, don't ask questions. No, you fool. Hit him with your hammer. I had a mother too. Just like everyone else. Really? <laughs> I, I was unaware of how this thing worked. Stab him in the crotch. Or not. Monica! So you hate me too, eh? Well, it's only natural, since I'm your father's sworn enemy. <laughs> Evil laughter. Except sad music. Same, you and I, exactly the same. 
What are you talking about? We're nothing like you. I just wanted to protect my mother too. Just like you two. Seriously, we don't need the speech. Child, born to a changeling father and a human mother. Changeling? There's changelings in this game? The humans called me Demon Child. Because you are. My parents and I were able to live happily in that small village. But when I was still a small boy, my father fell ill. Did you eat him? What is he doing? Is he vomiting blood? Good lord, man, what have you done? I tried desperately to nurse him, but it was awful. Seriously, is he just vomiting blood? That's something you don't really nurse in your home. That's like a holy crap, he's dying thing. My father fell into a never ending sleep. He died. After he died, <laughs> the other villagers chased us out of town, calling us freaks and monsters. They had always feared my father. And had just been pretending to be nice to us. My mother tried her best to protect me from it all. After that, we traveled from village to village. Is that an ice cream cone? Mother even had to resort to stealing sometimes in order to make sure I had. Oh, it's like a loaf of bread. Never mind. I thought it was like ice cream or something that she's handing him. Like, what's going on there? On the, road, the censure from the humans. The censure. Hmm. The stress of it all. Stealing ice cream, yes. Gotta make sure he's fed, man. Ice cream is important. Yes, Bart. It's time to say goodbye. Go steal your own ice cream, you fool. Mother, what do you mean? I'm tired of getting your food. I'm not going anywhere. Can we stay together? I suppose you could, but she's gonna die, so it's gonna be a kind of boring stay. Listen carefully. Just sit there. Silence. No matter what, you mustn't think ill of people. I've just realized, holy crap, that cover is, like, thick. No good can ever come out of hatred. That's like a foot-thick cover she's got on her there. Your own from now on. Don't let the loneliness get to you. You must continue this journey. You must find something you want to protect. Even if it takes your whole life. Search for that. You must live your life searching for that. That sounds like a horrible thing to say. Look at his face. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Then, you must never stop this journey. What? What am I supposed to find? Mother? Can't you see? I don't understand. Just find your favorite ice cream and hoard it. I know if anyone can find it. You can. I hid it in the cabinet. Yes, Mark. Hint. Don't force your eyes open, man. That's getting weird. What are you doing? Stop it. You froze. I guess. When did my journey end? It's gonna end right now when she Monica finally figures out that she needs to stab you in the back. Anything my mother asked. It's just hatred that drives me now. Find the shoe I lost while drinking. I just didn't have anything worth protecting. I'm ruining this moment as Foxer makes sad faces in the chat. <laughs> but you, you have something, something to protect. Quick, stab him in the back. He's faking it. If it costs your life, you must continue your journey. You mustn't give up now. You've been trying to kill us this whole time, man. Good lord. You show me where your journey will take you. Do you have ice cream? I'd like to see it too. The end of my own journey. Maybe we could make that, that ice cream flavor that, uh... What was it? I can't remember his stupid duck's name now. From Kingdom Hearts, he's just trying to make that ice cream flavor like the entire time with this, this salty ice cream. Farewell. As horrible as that sounds. Oh, are we just gonna let him walk off again for the seventh time? He can make portals? How come we can't make portals? Okay. Well, now he's imploding. That's always good. I will not forgive this. This betrayal. That sounds like Pow. What the? Pow, what are you doing? You, you're one of mine. If you don't kill them, you will give to regret it. 
sea salt. That's what it's called. That voice could it be Griffin's? He sounds like a child. What's happening to him? He's imploding. I mentioned that. What's up, guys? Oh, hi. We'll have to fight him. Oh, really? <laughs> Gaspard. Now he's on fire. At least he's still got a crotch piece covering him. He's marginally more difficult, although we have Monica in our party, which I would like to check something. Uh, yeah, one of those on that, one of those. Give those to you. And we may as well heal Max with something. I don't know, one of those. Why not? Let's see here. So I think we've got optimal weapons set up. Pretty sure we do, despite the fact that he's probably still gonna maul my face a number of times. Don't mind me, Mr. Gaspard. That does a decent amount of damage, despite the fact that it does. I did no effect to this ship. No damage to the blown up ship in the back. Feeds the fish. I don't have time to feed the fish. I'm currently being mauled by a giant fire demon. I need to repair my gun. Where is it at? There it is. This entire fight, you're going to be using either Steve or your gun. I may actually start... Let's see how much damage Steve does real quick. Ooh, yeah, that's the way to go right there. Except for when he flies. Can I hit him when he's flying? No. He can't hit me, though, so it's irrelevant. So Steve's still the way to go. For some reason, Gaspard has changed colors. Are you a different color? I'm gonna hop out and kill him with Max just for the sake of doing it this way. There's really no point other than that. That was easy. You didn't even hit me. The regular Gaspard was more of a threat than Demon Gaspard over here. And he imploded. I told you he was imploding. I told you. Oh, don't give us a speech again. Good God. How sad. Oh, that's what people in the chat said. <laughs> How sad. Oh, guess I won't be able to see your journey to its end. When I see my mother again, I'll tell her. I never found your shoe, mother. That at the end, I finally met you too. But I didn't find your shoe. He never did actually do anything, really. I mean, he fought us, he lost, and then he transformed into a thing and lost, and apparently now we're Hello, I'm home. doing this. Hello. Sorry, mother. I never found your shoe. I apologize. I, I couldn't find what you asked me to. See? But you know what? I met some weird guys. Mm. Both real you found it, Gaspar. You managed to find it. Where was it? What? He just said he couldn't find it, you doofus. I ruin all the moments. Oh, it's a sad moment. Make fun of everything. Damn, damn, damn that Griffin! I need to yell. Good lord, Monica. Relax yourself. There's been a change in the future. I can tell you right now, it's a 75 hour long cutscene, so I'm gonna go save. <laughs> Seems like a good idea to me. I wish I could just save anywhere inside the Georama area. Instead of having run to the point, but whatever. Whoops. Also, apparently I'm saving in the wrong spot, but whatever. We'll survive, I suppose. Back to the future. <laughs> Back to the future. How horrible. It was a bit early. There we go. Hopefully it just triggers the cutscene and I don't have to walk anywhere, because walking around this place is horribly long. By the scene, by the sounds of it, yep, we're gonna get a cutscene. Well, finally Gondorada has been completely restored. Thank you. Or you're welcome, oh, thanks I guess. To you. We were just doing our part. Monica. Ice cream. Yes? I have something I must give you. Is it ice cream? I like ice cream. Really? What is it? It's ice cream. 
Seriously. How many times do I need to say it? What's this? Oh, Jesus Christ. That's the sword your father, Raybrandt, left to me. That's a big sword. Me to give it to you if anything should happen. If I recall, it's actually not very good either. That sword is imbued with great power. A normal person could never make use of it. But with you as you are now, I'm sure you could draw out its strength. Now is the time for you to take that sword and fight alongside your father, Monica. Father! <laughs> okay. Holy Dagelus the Blade. How do you pronounce that? Is it Dad Dagelus? Dagelus? Hold on, let's. Hold on. What is that? Holy Dagelus. Is it seriously Dageless Blade? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. There it is. Whoop de doo. By this point, you should have a better sword anyway. So it's kind of pointless, but still, you know, I guess it does look cool. In fact, let's equip it on her. There you go. Woo. Whatever. Uh. You gave a child a sword. She's had a sword the entire time, so it's relatively irrelevant. And I'm aware you all keep saying feed the fish. Uh, how do I trigger the rest of this cutscene? Because that's not the end of that cutscene. Nope, there we go. That's what I was expecting to actually see. Hey, that thing we were trying to restore so they could build has oh, been finished. Huzzah! That's Pasnos. Yep. We built it for our struggle against Griffin. It's the secret ace up the rebel army's sleeve. It also has eight million laser cannons. And when I say eight million laser cannons, I quite literally mean eight million laser cannons. So I believe we need to get into this thing. Uh, or something? I think we need to get in it. I could seriously be mistaken. Also, I need to take a picture of it before I forget. Because I believe this is a missable one. How do we get in it? Am I supposed to get in it? I don't know. Can I get on the side here? No? No. Oi! How I get in? I don't know. Totally a secret. I swear you're supposed to get into it to continue. Maybe I need to go back into that building I was just in? Hmm. There appears to be no way to get into it, per se, so... Let's try going back into that main building I was just in earlier. Let's see if that triggers it. Because we're not done here. It still has to trigger some stuff. What is that? Oh, that's part of Paznes. Never mind. Or sorry, the main building. Does it connect up there? No. Hmm. I'm awfully confused. Or maybe I need to get leave the future and then come back? That doesn't seem to make any sense though, because it all should trigger now, because we just got 100%. I believe we've actually hit 100% on all of them so far, despite my uh, ineptitude. No? Where'd that dude go? What's his face left? Where did he go? I'm supposed to follow him, but he left. Do you know where he went? <laughs> busy doing what? Standing there? Man, he's busy. Say the secret password. Hmm. Walk forward. There we go. Run forward, I should say, because he was already walking forward. Well, what happens if we try to leave, then? Because that's really the only thing left. There's no new building, so this just Pasnos is the new thing. Oh. Oh, really? Oh. It's whatever. You could have given me a bit more of an announcement that that's where I was supposed to go, game. I swear. Is there anything in here I can take a picture of? Really? I can't take a picture of this thing? Excuse me. 
interesting. Apparently that's just a light. Well, this is a boring place. There's nothing here, sir. Fred Bull gives you wings. Be starting soon. Okay. Are you prepared? Sure. Still haven't figured out why those text windows freak out. And it's only the ones with an option in them, too. It's really weird. All hands on deck. Where do all those people come from? You know it's serious business when launching the thing has to warrant the use of a warning signal. Evacuate the area, we're trying to launch our project. Up we go! Huzzah! This thing has no weakness because we're not idiots and didn't build a Death Star with a vent in it that you could fire rockets into. Literally, it has no weakness. Just watch. Watch the horrible, utter destruction that this thing causes. What are those things? We fought like 50 of them, they're golems. See? Seriously, where have you been, Monica? Yes. Griffin destroyed a mountain and created a whole army of golems. Well, that seems like an infinite supply of minions, good lord. Force to be reckoned with. What should we do? Don't worry. We'll make them taste the power of Pasmos. Ready the weapon! All eight million of them. Yes, sir. Literally. This, if you're gonna build, like, an airship just to destroy everything, this is the airship you need right here. Technically, they didn't fly into battle, they actually just lifted off. But whatever. Thank you, Monica. Not yet. We have to lure them closer. Always with the drama of luring things closer. Couldn't you just shoot them, like, miles off? Would that make more sense? No! Stop the music, and I can just leave him in his dramatic lean-forward pose for eternity here. Look at Monica. Monica's ready for fisticuffs over there on this side. Mo Max is just being a derp, because he's always a derp, but whatever. Lasers! Couldn't he just recreate the golems? Because he did blow up a mountain to create them, so I don't think it matters that they're in pieces. Hello. Hope you weren't hurt. No, it was tough going, but the bombardment from Posno saved us. Hello, Twinkly Eyes McGee is here. Max. Twinkly Eyes McGee. Mother. Operation Huggles is commenced. Oh, you've gotten so big. You fat so happy to see you again. Me too. Oh, he's not twinkly eyed McGee anymore. Oh good god. You're ruining the moment, Max. You're supposed to be twinkly eyed. How's your father? Horrible. He lives on the side of a volcano now. <laughs> I'm sure that he wants to see you, too. Yes. Mother? What? Can't you come back? Back to our time? Back to the past. Max, please understand. This is the place where I have to be. I'm from this time, not yours. Yeah, Max. Even so, that's... That's... That's just selfish. Wouldn't it be selfish asking her to come back instead of staying here as well? That's just so... Unfair. Max. Let's have a hissy fit. If that's the case... I mean, if that's how things are, then you shouldn't have come to my time in the first place. Oh, look what you've done now, Elena. Max, I'm sorry. No one can exist in two separate times.
Hmm. So, you're both going. Yes, we got the word from Lunalad that Ixion was finished. Hey, Ixion's done. We're going to ride it into the distant past. And then we're gonna find Griffin and do what needs to be done. Otherwise known as murder him. I hope you will, Max. That angle. Look at that sweet butterfly hair clip I got for Monica. You don't want to talk with a lady? I already did, it's cool. No, it's fine. I understand. Be careful out there. You're our only hope. That's some dramatic music, man. Bring the light back to our world. We're counting on you. All right. All right. Derpity derp, time to get another cutscene. You're supposed to be in a house, creepy old guy. We're gonna save again because there's gonna be another obsev ob obscenely long cutscene. Save on this one. It's not feedsy fishy time. Feedsy fishy time next time. We got we gotta get all these cutscenes out of the way. No, that's not. What, no, I wanna. Uh, no, we gotta go back to Lunat Lab. That's right. Uh, move to Venetio. Then we gotta go to the future in Venetio. Breed sea fishies times? Nope. Cutscene time. All of the cutscenes. Skip all of those. We're gonna have the regular cutscenes. We go back to the center and then we'll get the Ixion cutscene. In all of its massive glory. Actually, did I ever. Yeah, I got that picture, never mind. Now I got it again. Huzzah! Can never go wrong by having more pictures. There it is. I like how they built train tracks for it, just straight through the lab as well. Hey, look at this! Instead of building the tracks next to the lab or something. So it's finished. No, we just had it here. It looks kind of stupid. Have a little Whatever. Bit of trouble with her though, but we're rather proud of the end results. It is so cool. I honestly think it looks kind of stupid, but whatever. Um, isn't it a little, uh, gaudy? See? Monica agrees. Well, now that you mention it, I guess you could say that. Hey, are you picking holes in my design? You just don't get it, do you? Apparently not, no. He was in charge of the design. Blame it on that guy. Listen, this train can travel through space and time. I just figured it should have a look that sets it apart and matches its abilities, you know? I suppose so, but did we need lasers on the front and spinny bits everywhere? Uh, I think it looks cool. Oh, sh Max, you don't count. Exactly. At least you understand. Max doesn't count oh, in the, <laughs> the, the, uh, the design department. 10,000 years in the past, that's all that matters. That won't be a problem. Well, then let's go. Be careful out there. He's a formidable enemy, that Griffin. Are you not going to teach us how to use the train? Tough operating this thing. Yeah, Max has a point. Not to worry. Osmond will handle the exit oh. controls. Well, that makes it a bit easier. Thank you. To me. Oh, great. We got the design guy in charge of controls Monica, now. Good God. Because he did so well on the design. Oh, we'll do our best, Dr. Knob. Dr. Knob. Oh, you knobhead. Wow. Even the inside looks horrible. See? <laughs> Me and Monica on the same page on train design. Well, I know there isn't a whole lot you can do about it now, but I really don't think much of the design. Hmm. Hmm. Oop, sorry. Skipped text. Let's go. And Max is hitting all of the buttons. He's way too excited. Get ready Look at him. To 10, years in the past. Monica's over there, like, face-palming, and Max is like, yay! All of this makes no, f makes no sense whatsoever. Magical train! At least they did this part outside, and they hid it underwater, so I suppose that makes a bit more sense, but whatever. I'm not entirely sure why they had to hide it, but yeah. Sure. I 
off we go! And because this is a magical train, it technically doesn't actually need the rest of the train tracks. It just takes off into space and makes a black hole, and then we all die. This is the first test. Whoa! Let's just leave it on that camera angle for a bit. <laughs> Got a bit of jiggle there. See? Black hole. We're all gonna die. What have you done? Chapter 6. When two eras collide. We're getting close to the end, except mm, not really. Apparently, it was, I was mixing it up. Chapter 6 is the one where we have to go back through all the places, I believe. Unless I'm mistaking that as well. Uh, all my chapters are mixed up. Apologies. I have no idea what's going on anymore. So this is 10,000 years ago. Not a whole lot here. It's kind of gloomy. Yeah. Look, there's only one moon in the sky. <gasps> Le gasp. What's going on? Did we land on a whole different world? I guess even the sky looked different in this time. Maybe the moon exploded and split into two. Hmm. It's also orange, which is generally an odd color for any planet surface to be. How do you close a black hole? You don't. Emperor Griffin is somewhere in there, huh? You throw a black hole at another black hole, and then they'll just eat yes. each other. I can feel him. You can feel him? Griffin. He's in this palace. Can we give him Huggles? Finally, time to set things right. Operation Huggles squared. Initiate. I hope it all goes well. Okay, let's get going. Huzzah! Progress. I need a picture of Ixion actually before I forget that as well. Um. How is that even remotely golden? That doesn't make any sense. Gold fence? No. Moonflower Palace stop apparently. In we go, I suppose. Let's save again. Lots of saving. Uh, actually, we're gonna end it. Cliffhanger! Cliffhanger is go! <laughs> we'll go in there when we come back! Huzzah! Now you have a reason to come back.